Since the dawn of time, toast has been a pivotal part of breakfast. In ancient Greece, toast was enjoyed by politicians as they debated law. Napoleon was said to enjoy toast at every meal, and believe it or not, Neil Armstrong brought toast to the moon. Thankfully, we no longer stick bread on sticks to roast over an open fire, for unlike our primitive toast-loving ancestors, we have the toaster an electronic tool designed specifically to make toast. While toast has been on a steady rise throughout time, many speculate as to why. There are those who believe in the yeast theory, which states that bread's popularity has risen because bread rises in the oven. Yeast, a live single-celled fungus that is a key ingredient to bread, commonly lies dormant until it comes into contact with warm water. Once mixed with water and flour and placed in a warm oven, the yeast begins feeding on the sugars and flour and releases the carbon dioxide that makes bread rise. While this process is true, many discount the yeast theory as the reason why toast is so popular because it makes no sense whatsoever. These same people embrace the toaster theory, considering that toasters fit nicely in most kitchens, and require no monitoring. They have become a household necessity for those with busy lives. In more recent years, toaster purchases in America have gone from $140 million in 2009 to $180 million in 2010 and $250 million in 2011. Unlike cooking eggs, pancakes, or a breakfast burrito, toast lovers can go about their morning as toast is made, alerting them with a friendly pop when it is done. Perhaps it is the convenience of toast that has made it so popular. No matter what the reasoning, toast is amazing. It is light, healthy, simple, requires little to no preparation, and pretty much the best invention since sliced bread.